Oponic are traditional peasant shoes worn in southeastern Europe specifically Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Croatia, Macedonia, Serbia, and also Romania and Albania. The attributes of the opansi name in plural are, a construction of leather, lack of laces, durable, and various ending on toes. In Serbia, the design of the horn-like ending on toes indicates the region of origin. The opansi are considered a national symbol of Serbia, and the traditional peasant footwear for people in the Balkan region. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Serbo-Croatian Oponic, Oponic as well as Bulgarian and Macedonian Oponic, Oponic ultimately derive from Proto-Slavic word asterisk op, n, k. Proto-Slavic asterisk op, n, k, is composed from the following parts. The preposition, prefix asterisk o, b, around, on, etc. With final asterisk b assimilated and the resulting geminated consonant cluster asterisk pp simplified to asterisk p, Asterisk p, n, yielding Serbo Croatian pan with strong jer, asterisk, vocalized to a. Asterisk p, n is the oblaut form of the root of the verb asterisk peti from earlier asterisk penti, originally meaning to extend, stretch, strain. Cf. Modern standard Serbo Croatian verbs conveying the same notion such as nepeti, nepeti, propeti, propeti, raspeti, raspeti, papeti, papeti, but subsequently coming to mean to climb. Whence the meaning of modern standard Serbo-Croatian peti, peti penjati asterisk, k, a Slavic suffix so literally, oponic would roughly mean climbing footwear, or footwear made from stretched animal hide. History Archaeologists found footprints of leather shoes worn by ghetto Dacians dating to 2500 BC. Trajan's Column in Rome features Dacians wearing this type of leather shoes. Archaeological findings show that the local population was hunting wild game, foxes, deer, badgers, wolves, bears, whose skins were later manufactured. The nobility would wear game skin shoes, the poorer ones would wear calf or swine skin. In the past the traditional shoes were handcrafted out of leather processed at home. The piece of leather had to be larger than the sole, with holes on the side so that a thin string of leather can be filled in and it wraps the piece of leather around the foot, giving it the form of some footwear. The puckered form gave it a sharp tip. They would be worn over wool stockings or white pieces of clothing. Nowadays they are often used as part of the traditional costume by folk dance groups and folk artists. Until 50 years ago, they were usually worn in rural areas of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Croatia, Macedonia, Romania and Serbia. Nowadays, they are only used in folk costume, for folkloric dance ensembles, festivals, feast days or other cultural events. The largest oponic in the world, in the Guinness World Book since 2006, is the three. 2 meters shoe, size 450, weighing 222 kilograms, made by Opankar Slavko Strugarovic, from Vrnjaka Banja, Serbia. Topic regional varieties topic topic Bosnia and Herzegovina topic Glamok Herzegovic topic Bulgaria topic North, Apinki or Central and West Zarvuli, leather sandals with blunt tips tied onto feet with long cords which formed a network giving them the name Vruvchanki. These were worn over pieces of woolen cloth wrapped round legs. From the second half of the 19th century woolen socks and leather shoes called emini, or kalevri were worn. Topic Croatia Topic The opansi are part of some variations of the Croatian national costume. Pannonia opansi made with a broad sole covering the foot with upper part covering the toes, originally tied round the foot and legs with long leather straps. In the interwar period buckled opanki first appeared, and are still worn in some rural areas by men. Slavonia leather sandals were worn by men and women throughout North Croatia but later replaced by light low embroidered shoes or boots Peasant sandals went out of general use around 1900. Dinaric Alps opatasi or priplatenjeci were made of untanned hide, cut and shaped on a wooden mold to make the shape of the sole of the foot, the edges folded upwards and laced using a lace made of sheep gut or thin strips of sheep hide called a puta. The top of the opanki was made by lacing together strips of gut or hide. At the heel the sole continues into the woven part ending in long leather laces which were used to tie the opansi to the foot. These were worn over stockings. 
Opansi were originally made at home, then by village makers, and later by specialist opanki makers in small towns. In Lika white cords were used instead of laces. These opansi were worn by men. Adriatic littoral, canaval red leather slippers called condor were worn by women in summer. Men wore these or opansi optatasi opansi with straps. Sava Valley Opansi worn with or without foot cloths for everyday wear, boots worn in winter, for wet weather and special occasions. Topic Grisa topic Zaruhi topic Macedonia topic Skopska Crna Gora Opansi S's Opatis, with twisted hemp laces, made of oxhide or pigskin, tied on with twisted hemp laces. Opansi S's Remeni, with straps fastening over the instep, made of tanned leather by shoe makers and worn on festive occasions. Topic Montenegro topic In Nixic white cords were used instead of laces. These opansi were worn by men. Topic Romania topic In Romania, the shoes are known as apinka. Countryside apinka were made out of a rectangular piece of leather or rubber, tightened on the foot with the help of thin strings no heat. The handicraft of making apinci was passed on in the family from father to son. Before 1989 people could really make a living out of it. Topic Serbia Topic Opansi are known as national symbol of Serbia, and part of national costume of Serbia. Sumatija Sumadijski Oponik S. Klajunam, also known as Siljkani, shoes with peak at toes. Sumadijski Oponik Bez K. L. Juna, shoes without peak at toes. Kasurski Oponik or Stariji Sumadijski Oponik, older Sumatijan Oponik, with low back, curved peak at front, with woven front upper, a low back and leather ties. West and North Kravini Opansi, red Opansi, made out of half-tanned oxhide and dyed red by soaking the piece of skin in hot water with alder or birch bark, then the skin was shaped on a last, and a woven front made of strips of leather and tied to the foot with straps of leather. These were adopted from Bosnia in the mid-19th century and were worn throughout western and northern Serbia. Production was moved to workshops by 1900 and tanned leather was used. From 1870 onwards red opansi called donasi or sabatski opansi were most commonly worn. Other varieties vernkani opansi, made out of tanned leather and worn for work. Opansi donasi, appeared at end of the 19th century, and were made of tanned leather in various yellow and brown shades depending on the plants used for tanning, oak apple, sumac, juniper bark. These have a sole Serbian, don, top, pleated straps, and leather straps for tying footwear on. Vlaski Vlakopansi, piece of leather gathered round foot using a cord. Kosmiski Oponik Kosmaj Opansi, has curly front, woven upper and leather straps at back Sopski Shopi Opansi Krvenjazi red ones Sabatski from Sabak Valjevski from Vljeva Uziki from Uzis Kolobarski from Kolobara region Moravski from Velika Morava region Nos Snouts MRKI brown ones Kalasi Kilo ones Kukikari hooked ones Takasi tire ones, made out of old tires, period after World War II Topic See also Topic Abarka, traditional Shoes of leather from Pyrenees moccasin, shoes of animal skins made by American Indians. Topic notes topic topic references topic topic external links topic Elisnik.org. UK European peasant footwear, styles of leather sandals.